Well, Christopher Martin Jenkins was the voice of summer. Boycott, 96 not out. He bowls to him. It's a half volley, drives it down the ground, and there it is. He's done it. He lifts both hands in the air. Jeff Boycott has got his 100th hundred. He was not, in terms of character, quite an extrovert like Arlott or Johnston, but he was just as important to Test Match Special. As that went to a distant, old-fashioned oval boundary. Down towards the block of flats opposite the Harleford Road just to the left of the uh, of the pub at mid-wicket. You had this complete paradox, I mean, who's completely in control, very calm, very precise and detailed. Without the microphone, quite often, total chaos. This time Vittorio lets you go by outside the off-stump, good length, inviting him to fish, but uh, Vittorio stays on the bank and keeps his rod down, so to speak. I don't know if he's a fish fisherman, is he? There's been no one who's been as devoted to the game and, and, and so keen to protect it. Cook who took the final catch. It's all over. England have regained the ashes. Australia are all out for 348 on a golden evening at the Oval. Someone who will be irreplaceable in the Test Match special box. I can't think that anybody ever has written or spoken more words about the game of cricket than Christopher Martin Jenkins. As a pretty complete human being, he was a very, very dear man, you know, and we're going to miss him a great deal.